Joining us for the balance of the hour and a little bit of the next hour, we'll open the phones up for him as well, is Leo Zagami. Leo Zagami uh, is on record uh, being part of one of the most powerful Masonic Vatican uh, lodges and his family uh, being Italian senators and stuff like that. He, he's run for national office as well. He's been arrested uh, for his uh, speech. Uh, he's a best-selling author who, I guess it was five years ago, claimed they were going to put a Vatican, or six years ago, a, a Jesuit pope in the Vatican using pedophile scandal blackmail. Then it all happened a few years later. Who he named became the new pope, and even The Guardian and other publications admitted blackmail was used to put him in. Now the media's gone from trying to take down the Catholic Church, which they clearly infiltrated a long time ago, to fully taking it over and no more talk of pedophiles. So he said last week he'd tell a lot from New York, a lot from D.C., a lot from what Huey meant with what happened. We see him joining forces with the Chinese president, the communist president, and Obama. He said we'd watch what happened with the Chinese and the Russians, and we'd see what announcements were made. So from those announcements, Leo Zagami, what can you make of what's happened, sir? Hello, everybody. Hello, Alex. I can say that the situation is actually very dramatic because the words of Putin are definitely of complete defiance towards this new world order, clearly stating that every country should be able to be sovereign. And this sovereignty concept was expressed by Putin in his speech to the United Nations just uh, an hour ago, in a way that I think uh, really has uh, showed the whole world uh, uh, that uh, this uh, Obama and his agenda is uh, completely something evil. But of course, the propaganda will make it as something good, uh, as you know. In the meantime, I would like to point out that in the Vatican, there is some serious stuff happening in the last couple of days that, uh, of course, you have not heard of in the US but it's starting to make news here in Italy because 11 cardinals are basically starting to oppose the Pope and have put together a document that they will present in October at this very famous and important synod and gathering that is taking place with all the bishops. So it's called the Ordinary General Assembly of the Synod of Bishops from the 19th, I think, of October. And, um, and so basically, this uh, rebellion right in the face of the Pope sees uh, people like uh, Camillo Ruini, uh, Cardinal uh, Carlo Caffara, um, then we have uh, Cardinal Urosa Savino. I mean, we have many important cardinals that are just saying uh, to the Pope basically that he's making a mockery of the faith. And uh, today, uh, on another newspaper in Italy, an important uh, Catholic writer and journalist uh, said, asked Pope Francis to please stop uh, with, uh, with all this. Uh, he, he said that he couldn't accept the fact that Pope Francis didn't even spend one word for the Christians who are being persecuted in the Middle East while he was addressing the United Nations. And at the same time, he didn't address the barbarities of the Castro regime and accepted this cross from Raul Castro made out of the boats when we all know that the Castro's and Cuba were actually throwing, uh, basically they were getting these boats that were arriving from Cuba to Miami, they, they were sabotaging them all the time. So basically a lot of people died uh, leaving Cuba for America in hope of a better life because they were killed by the Castro regime in the open sea. And, and the Pope has said nothing about all this. So um, uh, another thing that here in Italy is really creating outrage in the last few days has been this video report. Uh, stay uh, there. Tell us about that report when we come back and what the meetings with Putin and others signify and Putin's defiance, who's joining the world government, who's not with it, the clashes to come with Vatican insider Leo Zagami. Just a recap, two months ago, the Pope, in three different speeches and in several letters issued by the papacy, announcements ex-cathedra or from the throne there at Vatican City that global climate change is happening and that we have a responsibility to create a global government to respond to it and that he supports the treaty coming up in Paris that will complete world government.
and then now we've seen everything else has been added. Vatican insider Leo Zagami, who predicted that this man would be put on the throne years before it happened, joins us. He is the author of The Last Pope. And he shows lightning striking the Vatican in the background on the cover of his book. Then the night we go to interview him, we called him. There's a thunderstorm and lightning was striking the Vatican again. It was crazy. But the cops are coming over to us. We're on the sidewalk, not even on the Vatican, shooting on the square. Uh, it's pretty dramatic footage. Uh, it's uh, Demon Possession Inside the Vatican is the name of the uh, video. It's online at Infowars.com. This is a short segment, long segment coming up. The toll-free number to ask your questions at Leo Zagami is 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. On this subject specifically because it's such a big deal. The mainstream media heralding him as the second coming, basically. No level of security, not for any royalty, not for a president. Whole city's completely shut down. Philadelphia totally shut down. Uh, just fawning socialist communist media. Uh, I mean, that ought to tell everybody something of the world loves your religious leader. Look out. Uh, Leo Zagami, you were going to get into a report. But before you do that, I know there's some conservative shakeups there. Cardinals challenging him. Then they're demoted. But separately, uh, how big is this Putin situation? I want to do this segment on Putin. You said you would watch carefully what happened in New York to gauge the power alignments. What does it mean that the Chinese president had a love fest with the Pope? I must say one thing that actually made me think, think a bit about the situation not being totally clear when Putin actually talked also about uh, the climate change and about his own effort towards uh, the process that will bring us to uh, the planned meeting of December in Paris. So it seems that uh, on this uh, climate change issue, everybody is following uh, uh, the Pope. Uh, in regards uh, to uh, the security issue at stake uh, with America, definitely this is the beginning of the second Cold War. And uh, we saw what happened with the first one. Uh, we need to now get ready for the second one. So there's going to be a completely new world in which uh, somebody is apparently opposing uh, uh, this uh, new world order. We don't know how genuine Putin is in this opposition, but definitely the fact also that uh, he is, has created with BRICS an opposition also to the World Bank and that he is definitely one of the main political leaders of nowadays uh, gives us slight hope that something is opposing Obama's and the Pope's New World Order faction, I mean, which is definitely uh, taking control of the whole show. Uh, as you see, Obama is just following up on what uh, the Pope has announced in the week preceding these uh, meetings at the UN. I've never seen such unity of purpose by even G8 or G20 member groups. I mean, Obama follows the Pope's direction like our government is a bird dog uh, following its master's order. Yeah, I mean, this finally really shows to the world what I have been talking about for years, like uh, you also uh, said earlier, uh, which was uh, this Jesuit Pope that would really lead the world leaders, uh, uh, completely controlling them, and, and, and they would be happy to be controlled. Also, there is uh, this uh, whole charade of the one world religion. We have seen uh, this uh, strange ritual happening at ground zero, and the participants of it, they were not just your usual participants. Uh, we saw that the rabbi is a member of the Council of Foreign Relations, that uh, uh, the guy who was the imam there, this young imam, was in, is himself uh, basically a CIA asset, uh, a asset of the U.S. State Department. And so they are bringing in also this idea of the one world religion. And of course, to do this, they have to destroy the cross. That's why the cross is not only being destroyed in the speeches uh, of the Pope, because uh, literally to, to say that uh, basically Jesus was almost a failure by going off the cross. This is uh, quite heretical. And at the same time, we Stay have, there, stay there. Yeah, we're going to come back to that if folks missed it. The Pope didn't even have a crucifix behind him when he did it. He normally speaks we're the cross the behind him. He said the, the cross was a failure. Christ failed. Alex we'll be back. Stay with us. GCN. Folks, we're going to be going back to Leo Zagami and your calls here in just a moment. Before we go any further...
We fund our operation the old-fashioned way. We earn the money to pay for the reporters, the researchers, the staff, the writers, the equipment, the crew, the producers, the customer service people, the building, the electricity, the insurance, the legal, all of it. And a media operation reaching this many people normally would cost about $100 million a year to fund. Something like Fox News, they admit, cost about $350 million a year to run. CNN, close to that as well. MSNBC, $200 million plus. We're able to fund this operation for $15 million a year. People go, wow, you don't need any money. You got $15 million. No, no, I don't keep $15 million a year. It cost that. The servers alone cost several million dollars a year. When you're reaching millions of people every day, when you're putting out your own videos every day, when you are, I got 50 employees and, and five or six contractors. We've got to stay under 50 because of Obamacare. <clears throat> when you've got all of this going on, it's a very, very hard nut to crack. But it shows how big our audience is that selling high-quality water filtration, selling high-quality nutraceutical supplements, selling Patriot Apparel, uh, Hillary for Prison t-shirts, selling subscriptions to PrisonPlanet.tv, all these different ways we get the money and we need to fund it. And I'm trying to go to the next level of satellites and TV and the rest of it, and that's, that's like a million dollars a year. We got that money in in the money bomb. But if we don't spend it just exactly right and everything, then it gets taxed. And then, you know, it's not enough money. I mean, it's, it's a nightmare. I'm not complaining. I want you to know that we're fighting as hard as we can. I appreciate all your support. I appreciate you buying the books, the videos, the T-shirts, all of it. This wouldn't be here without it. I would just be on talk radio with a simple news site that put a few stories up every day so I could show you what I was covering. And then I personally would make more money. But I've taken the money that a big radio talk show host makes, and I've put it into building an operation. <clears throat> and it's bore fruit. I mean, look at these great reporters. Look at what we're breaking. Look at how we can send our reporters around the world, whether it's to Rome or New York City, whether it's to Mexico or whether it's to Toronto, uh, whether it's to the United Kingdom or whether it's to South Africa. We're able to do this. So you've built a true independent patriot, libertarian slash Christian property rights operation. You have done it by word of mouth and your support and supporting our sponsors and everything you've done. My pledge back to you is to bring you the highest quality products I can at the lowest price. I could have 15 different food sponsors. Every break be plugging a different one. I don't because a lot of them aren't that good. My Patriot Supply is excellent. It's high quality. It's very affordable. It's what I chose to use for my family. Now I'm doing private label with them, and until October 1st, I can offer the lowest price they've ever offered on their storable food with the InfoWars Select brand at InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139. Whether it's their protein pack, whether it's their one-month, three-month, six-month, one-year supply, they've got it all. They're in full spectrum is there. And you also have the full spectrum of My Patriot Supply uh, meals. It's the exact same meals. So a one-stop shop, InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout. We don't make medical claims. The FDA would come after us, but we don't need to. The products stand on their own. Knockout just takes nine different ingredients known forever to induce being sleepy, having deeper, better sleep. I know people say, I look like I've lost weight in my face. I have more energy. They go, what's going on? Well, it's a lot of things, but I've been taking knockout three or four nights a week. You don't need to take it all the time or it stops being as effective, or you can take the 5-HTP before it, which we're going to start adding to another product uh, so that you're able to absorb and make more melatonin. But valerian root extract, gamba, melatonin, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan, and many other compounds. L-tryptophan is what's in Turkey, folks. I mean, it's just all there. It's natural. And we just went out and looked at all the top brands where you pay 19 bucks, say, for melatonin or 15 bucks for valerian root. It all has the same dose as the average dose, the recommended dose, all together in one pill. So we call it knockout. And I just need to listen to my own propaganda, and I mean that in a good way, and just take my products. Because when I do, it's really changed my life, and that's my personal perspective. Check it out for yourself. Bare minimum, you're funding the operation. 